dismissed psychology Two zero two three main exam paper, and we'll discuss today paper one, and paper one also we'll discuss section A. Because a long duration discussion is not feasible. Because whenever I discuss things, I have different style of discussion. Then when I discuss things, I ensure that you get techniques, and you and you end up getting something which you can take back home. and whenever there is a question which is like what i have discussed you can dis you can answer it well and when a question is a new one then how to encounter it and how to ensure that whatever knowledge you have whatever content you have by using that content only you can answer a new question as well these two things will be addressed apart from the content part and we'll understand how we have to change the approach of the psychology understanding psychology study if we want to prosper in the main examination and when i say prosper again i'm targeting 60% plus marks in psychology which is quite possible now, now before going into the discussion first of all let's understand few things one is your programs which we are going to conduct which will be helpful for you there are two things as many people inquired about it and that's why it is my duty to tell you one is your test series come mentorship for which two matches have already been launched the third batch batch 3 will start from october 5 you can enroll till october 4 there will be six sectional tests six sectional test and there will be four into two that is paper 1 and paper 2 each having four tests full test so 8 total 14 test the course fee is 12000 rupees and payment and all method if you want to know you can contact me on this number either me or anybody from our team will answer your query on this number all right many people had sent me a mail as well you know my mail id if you go to my telegram channel you can get my mail id this is program for test series come mentorship then there is another program running that is your online classes which will consist of three classes a week Per week, three sub test that is one and half hour test. Then Sunday every Sunday full test. This program is also running. If you enroll on or before thirtieth of September, then you can continue with the same batch. which is running right now the course fee for this is 27500 rupees now these two programs are running currently it will help you immensely both these programs and i have told you enough about these programs you must have seen the comments and accolades from different aspirants who wrote main exam this year so you can decide based on this now coming to our uh, discussion today we'll discuss section a questions not all because i have already uploaded model answers which you can see on my telegram channel mj upsc 2004 this telegram channel model answers are given 
many of the questions as i already told you they were from my test series which i am conducting mgis test series paper 1 around 60% of the questions came from the test series itself and paper 2 almost 100% what we'll discuss today is your few questions which i have chosen which will help you to understand a new dimension to understand how to encounter problems when you are not much aware about the content or that gives you not only the content but it gives you the technique how to solve the questions so we'll start with the 10 marker question number 1b question 1b of your paper 1 section a and the question is mental health study is the major trend in psychological studies in 21st century discuss now see now what the examiners of upsc are looking for is not only should you be aware about the content which anybody can get from the market everyone is reading the same study material unfortunately same study material which is available in the market over and you are reading psychology material which is being read by all the aspirants who are writing means around 200 plus aspirants write means all of them are studying the same material now the examiner is looking for those people who are interested in the discipline who either have a background in psychology or they are interested in the recent trends the current happenings of psychology now who will give you all these things one is that you yourself can do but i taking the responsibility from the side of the student what i always say that students are not wrong students are not bad there are no bad students only bad teachers so it is a duty of the coach of upsc that they give you all these fodder they should either tell you the content give you the content or they should either or they should tell you that how to approach the subject so that it gives you an inspiration it gives you an inspiration to look into the new vistas the new happenings in the discipline so one of the major trends in psychology in the current century 21st century has been mental health and they have asked a question of mental health so those people who were doing as uh, one of the aspirants sent me a mail today she is doing a masters from a reputed university in psychology she one of the aspirants who wrote means this year she also uh, belongs to psychology background so i saw that these people were quite adept at handling these questions because they know the current trends i will tell you in our programs we will keep on inculcating this how to approach this question now now first and foremost in the introduction you will write that what is the endeavor of psychology so you will write psychology aims to prevent mental disorders and promote psychological well being across various dimensions so in the department of mental health what are the objectives of psychology prevent preventive prevent disorders and then intervention that is ensure that psychological well being is prevalent mental health now these are the parts of what positive psychology positive psychology does not believe only on the preventive aspects but proactive aspects now proactive aspects have been the trend of psychology in the 21st century so this you gave psychology's endeavors now why mental health and how mental health has been as i told you it's not only about what and when what when where these things are not important in upsc why and how because see if you want to pass state service examination then your approach should be what when where these things facts but if you want to pass upsc why and how is important why and how mental health has a subject of importance in, in psychology
psychology as far as discipline of psychology is concerned in 21st century. So, we will give why. So, why will consist of reasons. So, what are the reasons? Not going far into the history, but recent happenings. What happened recently? The major shift in the phenomena of mental health, major shift across the globe. COVID. COVID-19. Because of the COVID-19, what happened? People were suffering from anxiety, depression, loneliness. Some other people who had lost their kith and kin, they were suffering from PTSD, which is your post-traumatic stress disorder. So, these things forced psychologists to look into the aspects of mental health. Mental health became our focus. The reason being this. So, we are now giving the reason. This is reason number one. And how psychologists help? By ensuring that there is therapy. There were therapies. Community awareness. Through the use of community psychologist. Community psychologist. Working with the government. Healthcare workers, they ensure that positive mental health is prevalent across the society. Now, this is one reason, one trend. Second one, you must have seen as you grew up that in recent years, especially in our 21st century, the advocacy and awareness advocacy and awareness about what mental health has increased a lot not just looking at the lack of disease but ensuring that proactive approach towards mental disorders is there that mental disorders don't germinate advocacy for such Right. Even people who are intellectually challenged, as you saw in the question paper itself, there is a question regarding intellectual challenge. Intellectually challenged people. That is in your paper too. Even for them, the basic human rights are there. And the advocates of basic human rights were there to ensure that mental health is prevalent in the society. And awareness regarding the mental health has also increased. Especially, you can connect it with the recent happenings you must have seen in the news. What happened in Kota? Many aspirants go and prepare for need. So, parents have high hopes for, from them. But due to duress, stress, which they could not cope, they... Many of them, around 20 aspirants committed suicide this year itself. So young boys and girls in their teenage, young adolescents, they are committing suicide, 20 around. So it's a major threat. But awareness about these issues have definitely increased. Advocacy groups are there, awareness groups are there. Now, what are the other trends? Why it is happening? Why mental health has become a major focus for psychologists? One is that advancement of technology. Which kind of technologies? Like artificial intelligence, which can ensure, and psycho cybernetics, of course. Psycho-cybernetics and AI has ensured that we can precisely zoom down to the factors which create mental disorders because of which individual differences in mental disorders can be tracked. And since there is a precision, we can always find the cure. What other reasons are there? The multidisciplinary approach of
here as far as psychologists study of mental health is concerned now these factors have also come to play so understanding that these factors are important has increased our interest and awareness in mental health study and because of that the mental health study has become the focus of our study in psychology especially in the 21st century now you have given the introduction in that introduction you have defined the role of psychology as far as mental health is concerned you have given the trends why mental health has become the fo focus reasons how and why after that how will you conclude in the conclusion you will write that increasing technical intervention and multidisciplinary approach has made psychology one of the champions of the cause as far as mental health study is concerned this way you have some data if you write all these factors in the manner in which i have suggested how much marks you can expect provided that this is suppose this is your copy you have given the introduction here then body points in a good handwriting i have always insisted on this fact those who don't want to write much can give diagram or flow chart also or they can use flow chart diagram along with the content then you have concluded then you can expect 6.5 to 7 marks in this question itself if you write all these factors okay so your focus should always be how to get more and more marks apart from the fact that there is lots of content available but the study is not being done in the right manner as i interacted with one of my students who is one of the best students i have ever interacted with he, he was saying that after interacting with me after meeting me um, in the psychology class he realized that his approach of studying too much of content that 6 7 8 booklets thick booklets going deep down into everything is not solving the problem he started studying things from the perspective of how i categorize it concept application merit and demerit from this perspective all the chapters all the subtopics now your effort is towards smart study rather than just keep on mugging the facts smart study you are saving your time you are saving your energy which you can put in other things like essay ethics and other papers of gs of course so this is how you should study rather than just following the herd herd mentality is not going to solve anything herd following the herd is not going to solve anything because other people are reading eight booklets going to a particular institute that is not going to solve you you have to be smart and you people are definitely smart so we'll now go to another question this question which I, we have discussed has told you that how to approach a question it has not only given you the content content is already there i have given the model answer which you can see but that itself is not enough what is required is your approach change of approach so let's discuss another question question number 1 d from your section a paper 1 2023 main examination what does it say applied question my dear friends applied question your relative is going through chemotherapy your relative god forbid it should not happen nobody's relative should go to chemotherapy so assume that it is going through chemotherapy 
how your knowledge about learning theories will be helpful. Now, what is this saying? Chemotherapy is one aspect of the question. Somebody is going through chemotherapy. Your knowledge of learning theories. Please remember, we are not talking about the whole psychology, but you are talking about the learning theories. Particularly because it's a 10 marker, it has to be focused. It has to be a focused aspect. Not giving everything you know in the psychology. Okay. So, how we'll approach this question? This is regarding chemotherapy. This can be anything. And you understand that psychology being a behavioral science has lot of many dimensions, lot of many applications. As far as these uh, disease, these maladaptive behavior and problems of society are concerned. So, how will we approach this? Let's go through. In the answer, introduction. In the introduction, what you should do? Break it down. Simplify. Chemotherapy. What is chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is a therapy used to treat cancer patients where the drug and radiation are combined to kill the cancer cells. Kill or reduce its growth. Cancer cells are killed or its growth is reduced. Hampered. Tampered. Okay. This is the basic definition you gave. Now in, in brief you will say learning theories given by the discipline of psychology can help us in following ways. So, you have different perspectives. You have learned all the perspectives. First and foremost, the, to start with, as when we say learning theories, what comes to your mind? First and foremost, Pavlov's dog, Skinner's rat, that comes to your mind. Behaviorist perspectives. So, behaviorism. How does behaviorism help you? Behaviorism tells you to Reinforce good behavior and punish the bad behavior. So, what we'll use here to be being intelligent people of psychology, we'll use positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. Positive reinforcement will be used to reward. The good behavior of the patient who is there, who is going through your relative, who is going through chemotherapy. If the person is taking drug, that is medicine, not other drugs, medicine at right time, following a healthy diet as suggested by the nutritionist, healthy diet, you will reward the person. How? By giving the person something which makes him or her happy. At least for a moment, it depends on the person, reward. Now, what we will do in negative reinforcement, this is positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. We will be a bit relaxed, laxed, relaxed in our approach. Whenever a person follows the strict regime of medicine and diet, and maybe exercise and all, we will give more of leisure time, more of leisure time. Person will not be forced to follow a very rigid disciplined way of life, but will say, okay, you can have this one more hour of TV, one more hour, no need to go to sleep at 8 p.m. You go to sleep at uh, 10 p.m. because you have followed your regime well today, for today. So, not what we are doing, we are actually removing the negative stimuli. We are removing the 
but see we are not punishing the person punishing in modern psychology punishment is not used that much as negative reinforcement is used upsc has asked a question also on this punishment and negative reinforcement negative reinforcement is much better than this punishment don't be so harsh don't be so strict remove relax your criteria that is negative reinforcement punish the person that is bringing some obnoxious stimuli in the environment so that the person becomes jittery so that punishment is not advisable negative reinforcement is used this way we have used behaviorist theories there are other theories which are cognitivist theories second you can uh, use cognitivist theories how can cognitivist be used we can use it in training the person for a better memory for better images better memory the mnemonics and organization techniques mnemonics organization techniques can be used to ensure that the person has better memory can be done yes one is for this because because of this therapy uh, the chemotherapy the person might be suffering from memory loss that can be done another thing which can be done in the cognitive aspect itself is training the person for good memories good memories like in the person's life whatever good events have happened try to recall that especially in the morning hours in the when the day starts what do we say we always say that in the start when the day starts you should go for some spiritual aspects go and do some spiritual activity yoga meditation worship god in the morning because if you do it it ensures that the kind of uh, uh, neurons which gets activated in the morning in the v hours that will ensure that your whole day is positive so training the person for memorizing rehearsing good memories that can be done through cognitive aspect now comes the role of observation learning ol what is ol observation learning of whom bandura observation learning given by whom bandura how you must remember that recently there was a famous actress from bollywood sonali bendre she was suffering from cancer you can give her example to your relative that she was showing what resilience and countered such a tough regime of chemotherapy and came out successful that is observation learning few other people if there is any other relative god forbid that should not even happen if there is any other relative in the family itself then you can give his or her example that she or he also countered uh, or uh, went through the chemotherapy really bravely came out very successfully these things we can use now apart from that there is another approach called constructivist approach and what is this constructivist approach constructivist approach which you won't find in the notes of so called popular notes which are there in the oran constructivist approach says
in the constructivist approach what happens this is the person this hair is cancer after that therapy is happening the past beliefs values experiences they can all be combined with the current situation to ensure that the person counters chemotherapy in an integrated manner like suppose a young person in his adolescence wins a national award in sports or any intellectual criteria intellectual arena national award is won now this person is showing resilience muscle memory is there of resilience your body remembers your mind remembers that you are a resilient person you have to bring back this person you must have seen there are athletes who at some point of time they don't do well their performance this is the performance this is the time their performance increases like this that in goes up to some level then either plateaus or slumps then in this slump period the person is told that look at your past achievements these then again after some time the person gathers himself like what happened with sachin tendulkar he was always caught in his 90s whenever he reached up to his 90 runs he was not able to make a century convert it to a century at that point of time psychological intervention was done and the self belief of the sports person likewise the self belief of the person can be brought back to go through such tough therapy constructivism these things you have to use this is how you will attempt this question and in the examination it is very much possible 100% possible it's not that after the paper we are uh, making the answers no it is possible in the examination provided you go through the basics in such a manner that see the approach needs to be changed you need not go through whenever something like uh, uh, bandura's name comes you should remember each and everything in that mota booklet all these things should be read and it should uh, be recalled no you need to develop a birds eye view i have been telling every now and then birds eye view if you don't develop it it will be very difficult and one of the aspirants she even told me that because of this understanding of birds eye view she was able to handle so many questions despite the fact that her preparation of psychology was not that well adept you understand this these things are very birds eye view it's not that you are you are going shallow what happens see what is happening like pavlov's dog pavlov trained his dog to salivate now many of the aspirants who come to prepare here they are also behaving like pavlov's dog salivating when too much of content is given too much content salivating like anything they are very happy that salivation should stop now you should be smart aspirant don't waste your time here read things which are important unnecessarily salivating for this too much of content being given and being happy okay person has command everybody knows everybody has command over psychology but the person smartness genius lies in making things simple genius will make things simple not making things complex what is happening now psychology is being made complex deliberately you cannot persuade a person if you if you cannot convince a person confuse him this is what is happening right now everybody is confusing students making it complex and the thing should have been made simple so making it simple will help you two questions we have done 10 markers you must have understood the content the approach now we'll go and do a bigger question not the short ones 3c question number 3c what does 3c require you to do let's first of all see the question understand the question 
discuss some key ideas from psycho cybernetics straight forward question everybody saying question was very simple question was very simple what is the answer buddy tell me question was simple okay but what is the answer what have you written that's very important do you know the meaning of psycho cybernetics is it being dealt separately as a topic in our classes the answer is no unfortunately but i can vouch for the fact that i had given this psycho cybernetics use of psycho cybernetics in successful aging this was a question in my test series in my classes i'll give, be giving you each and every sub topics pointers four five pointers for sure understanding of the concept application of the concept merit and demerit and that will ensure that you solve the question each and every question in the upsc however whoever asks now psycho cybernetics key ideas from psycho cybernetics before we delve deep into the psycho cybernetics we must understand what is psycho cybernetics psycho cybernetics is the study of what is the psycho cybernetics psycho cybernetics is the study of human thought process human thought process human thought process is studied through psycho cybernetics because the champions of psycho cybernetics told that the human thought process works in the same manner as the cybernetics works cybernetics as the computer programming does likewise computer programming back backs on which discipline which uh, fundamentals this is your human mind especially the subconscious listen that carefully this is your mind and especially the subconscious and if you understand this this can be a great learning this can open great vistas great windows for your successful life also understand this subconscious now the subconscious mind works on one principle that is called feedback principle feedback what feedback you give it and depending upon the working of subconscious mind your success and failure is defined you become successful when you train your subconscious mind subconscious mind can be trained to have one positive self image how you give the feedback as we say positive self talk you must have seen nowadays this is in trend manifestation so many people working on this principle law of attraction it's nothing but this positive self image positive self talk when you get up in the morning go in front of the mirror you tell yourself i am the best i can go through and counter successfully counter i am resilient successfully counter any problem on this earth now what are you doing actually you are suggesting your subconscious mind that you are a person with positive self concept you are confident about your abilities this training is done through the principles of psycho cybernetics use of psycho cybernetics in this now once you have the positive self image your goals life goals will be aligned to this positive self image and your habits your values and your habits will become such that 
you orient all your actions everyday action towards achieving your goals and since you have a positive self concept you will approach towards your goal in a healthy manner positive manner and that will result into achievement of success now how failure comes what is the reason of failure then failure comes because you are full of fear guilt negative self image i am bad i am bad everybody every day every now and then i don't know anything others are reading too many books they are going to this coaching that coaching i don't know anything what will happen to me this fear the guilt no i am spending too much of money not no not not achieving success not getting any improvement this guilt that forces you towards the path of failure these are all the principles of psycho cybernetics now you can put up the uh, put up the content you can put up the flow chart and diagrams and also ensure that the current focus of psychology that is as we already discussed psychological well being and another one was happiness definitely these two are connected to each other happiness can also be ensured by use of psycho cybernetics because once you have a positive self image you are giving a feedback to your self conscious subconscious that you are a positive person you are going towards the achievement of your goals you have all the capabilities in this world required to achieve your goal you are doing your hard work because your habits will be aligned towards that then will you achieve success or not will you achieve psychological well being or not yes of course so these things these all are the dimensions of psycho cybernetics now if you are told what actually psycho cybernetics is going deep into the concepts of psycho cybernetics rather than just giving you 10 points psycho cybernetics comes 10 points points after point points after examiner is not able to understand what actually you are writing point 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 scribbled as i see the scripts of many people who have again gone through these material available in the market they are writing points but not able to explain what i am suggesting you give me three four important points explain them give examples for each and every one of them i as a examiner or anybody on this earth will give you more marks than just giving 8 point 10 points same approach happening in ethics also 8 points not relevant no marks three points explained well your uniqueness also projected through these these points more marks understand so this is the approach you have to change key ideas of psycho cybernetics done example flow chart diagram everything can be put up you can give the example of successful people how they used to self talk give the example of saurav ganguly give the example of sachin tendulkar give the example of ratan tata how they used it the principles of psycho cybernetics how it is being used currently in the manifestation and law of attraction so train your mind to think about your goals to think positively about yourself but you are filling your mind with you are filling your mind with as i call that kula kachla fixation about things which you have not achieved fixation images you are carrying for a particular person this person i met on this date not able to forget x vex all this nonsense because you are fixated about a particular event about the particular meeting life is too big so get 
ahead of these fixations. Train your subconscious mind to achieve things. Get free from your guilt. Get free from fear. Get free from negative self-image. This is what psycho cybernetics tells you. So this was one question regarding psycho cybernetics, not dealt anywhere. But in our uh, test series, we have discussed, and uh, on our platform where online classes will be there, it will definitely be covered. Each and every chapter, precise notes, not giving bulky notes, so that you are lost in the notes. Nobody cares whether you pass or not. Okay. Now we will go to another question, which is, as people say, easy, but again, it's difficult if you have not done your revision. It's difficult if you don't know how to connect two topics. Easy is straightforward. What is the question? The question is 4A. What is the question? Compare and contrast between what? Programmed learning and probability learning. PL, PL, PL versus PL. Why this question was asked? Examiner in a funny mood. Those PL, both these are PL. Program learning, probability learning. Let's ask a question. If you ask those people who are there in the vicinity of preparation, those who are coaches, I never blame the students. The coaches will say there is no connection. Program learning, different topic. Probability learning, different topic. Taught by different people. It will be taught by different people. Probability learning, another person will be called. Program learning, another person will. That is not going to help the students. When I was taking classes at one of the platforms, so I told, see, when you are reading probability learning, you must read program learning along with that. So that you develop that schema. Probability learning and program learning both. And when you are reading these two, compare and contrast. What is the similarity? What are the differences that you should always do? Although a mechanical thing, but you should do. Because you never know. The examiner may be in a funny mood and ask this also. So, first of all, we will understand what is program learning, what is probability learning. These two things. First of all, program learning. Straight away, going to the, uh, you can say it briefly in the introduction, program learning and probability learning are two ways or two fundamental strategies of learning which help in our <coughs> understanding of environment, which ensures that we have a relatively permanent change in our behavior. That is the definition of learning. So first we will go to program learning. What is program learning? Now again, I will tell you, when program learning or any topic comes, because it's none of your uh, mistakes, but because you have read so many things in program learning in that booklet, you will try to jot down each and every point, not required, give the fundamentals, give the basic understanding. Program learning, which is based on the principles of your shaping a particular behavior and chaining it with another behavior. Shaping and chaining, these two things are important. Shaping a behavior then chaining it has a large task or a chapter which is broken down into small frames. Frame 1, frame 2, Frame 3, after each chapter there are a set of questions. Now, the person who is going through this, after doing the frame 1, will solve the questions, get the feedback. Feedback can be in form of correct, wrong. If the feedback is correct, then you go to frame 2. If the feedback is wrong, go back to the frame 1. Learn the fundamentals again. This is how it is taking place. And how it is based on self-pacing. Self-pacing. 
pacing that is your pace you decide self instructed nobody is there to instruct you self paced self instructed based on reinforcement reinforcement who is giving you yourself are giving right going through different frames so that the task is completed this is the basic not nothing much is required but you need to you what you do you will memorize the name of the person who gave program learning in which year it came these things are not relevant write only the relevant things the basic principles the basic ideas this is how much time you have for each and every topic and if you want to do phd for each and every topic then it will take 5 years for you to complete the examination and a smart person will do the study and crack the exam in one or two years so be smart don't get lost in the hard mentality so the basic things we have discussed regarding program learning we'll go to probability learning now probability learning the basic fundamental is response contingency response probability matches the reinforcement probability this is the basic principle what is happening you take any step in a famous experiment to team age the rats were left here brunswicks rats team age experiment 75% of time the food pellets were kept here on the right side and 25% of times here on the left side after a number of trials when the rats were left in the maze they started going out of four times three in the three trials out of the four trials in the three trials they used to go to right side because the probability of food being available there was 75% so the response probability matched with the reinforcement probability reinforcement probability being 75% here response probability being 75% here after a number of trials it happened this is probability learning basic principle of probability learning high utility in your uncertain environment what uncertain environment you are going on shankar road there are two ways of appro- approaching old rajendranagar this is your shankar road this is pusa road you are in your 100 driving trials you saw that this pusa road is full of traffic you take at least half an hour more 30 minutes more to reach your destination but if you take this route shankar road then it is easier for you how much easier it is giving you a 30 minute advantage not in one trial after so many trials we have understood this then you start going here following this route you are using your uh, money to invest in share market you see that a particular share a history of the particular share has been that it has shown profit in the more than 90% of time or 75% of time it has shown profit margin of 50% now you are betting on this share what is this probability learning weather forecasting you saw that when i go to a particular place in pune say the example of pune in the months of september october then there are rains so you are completely prepared probability learning 
probability learning we are using every now and then program learning basics covered probability learning basics covered the comparison between these two the contrast with contrast is what is the similarity both definitely both are what are the similarities both being learning and both are basically dependent on the reinforcement probability learning based on reinforcement contingency probability of reinforcement and program learning being based on individual immediate feedback but reinforcement is always there at the core of the learning both types of learning comparison we have already understood quite quite different these two types of learning are quite quite different and their uses are also di different program learning widely used in educational psychology education probability learning every now and then daily uses now we will come to the advantages and disadvantages of your these two types of learning the thing is how to organize your answer whenever the question paper is on the easier side or a generic side as the question paper 1 of 2023 has been then how to write your answer in an organized manner how to manage the time that will define your marks fine so we'll see the advantages of programmed learning advantages of programmed learning what was the advantage the basic advantage first being it caters to the individual differences and learning style of different people because it is self paced self instructed so different learners have different learning style some are convergers some are divergers some people have the ability to mug up lots of material and then they will make a precise note of it you see what is happening lots of material plethora of material some people have the ability to make it concise these are convergers there are people who with a concise note can bloat it that is they can make a bigger picture out of it current regime of upsc examiner examination is of these kind of people not convergers but divergers because you see the essay marks are important right essay marks are important ethics marks are important both these papers require you to be a diverger that's why i keep on insisting on the fact that you should have the ability to go through the basics of the topics each and every topic concept applica application merit demerit and then you should be able to apply yourself in the examination rather than going through a plethora of material and then making it precise that anybody can do but upsc is looking for these people who are change makers and that is possible through the support of the right kind of coach it's very much possible so individual differences and learning styles are catered to through the use of program learning that we can always tell then what is the other advantage we get immediate feedback as people say i wrote the answer test today give me the feedback right now only immediate feedback has huge advantage because you can shape you can change your behavior immediately you got the feedback and once you are getting the feedback immediately you have the probability of doing things right more of the probability of doing things right then when you get the feedback after a time gap but we'll see the disadvantage there we'll realize that this is more applicable to the routine task mundane task not for creative and critical thinking approaches there it is not required much okay now since you are getting immediate feedback there the role of the teacher is also limited because the relevant time, the relevant portions the relevant points only should be 
marked up should be gone through once you know the relevant points then your probability of passing the examination also becomes huge then knowing all the 10 points 20 points 30 points 50 points where is the use you don't even have the resources to mug up all the facts okay. so we have gone through the advantages we'll see the disadvantages of program learning we have already discussed that but still i'll jot it down here disadvantages what is the disadvantage the biggest advantage the disadvantage is that when the task is not mundane when the task requires thinking then it fails creative task it fails program learning fails then monotony is there in the task monotony boredom and since there is no teaching element the teacher is not there to entertain you so it becomes further boring that's why whenever the task is monotonous when it is full of boredom then the learners motivation learners belief system also suffers the motivation cognition that suffers and because of that the learning outcome will be suffering these are the disadvantages now we'll go to the advantages of probability learning what are the advantages advantages of probability learning the biggest advantage is whenever there are uncertainties uncertain situation whenever the situation is full of vagaries as it is in the real life then pl comes handy program probability learning comes handy because you know because of your previous experiences the contingency of reward probability of reward and that's why you have already shaped your behavior and because of this fact another advantage will come the point number 2 that real life applicability is very high is very very high primary advantage what are the disadvantages the biggest disadvantage of probability learning is probability learning assumes that each one of us are rational thinkers and our decisions are based on this mathematical calculations mathematical probability but that is not true our decisions are based on our mood cognition anchoring bias because of these things because of your heuristics representative heuristics availability heuristics anchoring bias you tend to take decisions which are based on your prejudices and biases and many of the decisions we take based on stereotypes so role of these things have completely been neglected as far as probability learning is concerned this is the biggest disadvantage then the thing is that assuming that any decision any human decision will be free from the momentary fluctuations momentary fluctuations a person who is habituated of traveling only in mercedes will be very jittery when going in the metro so because of this momentary fluctuations in the metro person's thought may change completely in the mercedes a different kind of thought when it is very difficult weather is not good person may start using curse words which he or she does not do when the environment is relaxed cool so these are the disadvantages these two concepts are not very tough easy to understand but its comparison and their contrast and comparison between these two 
then basic understanding that advantage disadvantage simplistic simplistic that itself is left and people are going into the depths depths of the topic so called depth i don't call that depth point after point writing 10 points does not show your depth the depth is shown when you write three four points and explain well full of examples full of diagrams then you get marks these things you have to remember we have discussed section a of paper 1 today we'll discuss section b of paper 1 again not all questions again because i have already given you the model answer on my telegram channel mj upsc 2004 this is the telegram channel on which you can get the solutions then i have already told you about two programs which are running on our platform one is your online classes where both test series and mentorship are combined with the classes then there is a specific program for test series cum mentorship that's also running the batch 3 will start from october 5 and will run till january 14 for these two enrollments are taking place 